What's up guys, my name is Uncage Games. Welcome back, yes, back to another Mortal Kombat 12 topic video. Today, we got a fun one for you guys. I have here the Mortal Kombat 11 roster. This is the complete roster of characters. And in this video, we're gonna go through each one of these characters and determine which one of them I feel will not be coming back in Mortal Kombat 12. We're gonna use some of our knowledge, some of our thoughts, some of the things going on in the world and determine if these characters are coming back or not. With that being said, there's a chance that these characters could come back. I'm just guessing if they will or won't. If I put a character on the won't come back, don't lose your mind. If that's your favorite character, it's, it's not confirmed. This is just a fun video that I thought why not kind of determine the roster of MK12 by withering out the characters that I feel don't have a great chance of coming back. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get it. All right. So we got three columns here or three rows. Won't be back. Self-explanatory. These are the characters that won't be back in Mortal Kombat 12. Maybe come back. Maybe come back. Characters that might come back and the will returns, which is obvious. Okay. I feel like all these are self-explanatory. So let's go through the MK11 roster. First off, we got Broncan. All right. Starting off with a little tricky one because Baraka is not like a main character. He's not like the lowest tier character. He is cannon fodder. He is there to get beat up. You know, the guys that you beat until you get to the, the, the big boss. So Baraka, <sighs> he's a maybe. And I only put a maybe because MK12 does need characters that you can beat up. It usually is Reptile or Baraka. So if we don't have Baraka, then we're probably gonna get a Reptile. So Baraka is a maybe. Maybe two won't be back. It's like if there was another row here, I'll put him here, but uh, let's put him right there. Maybe come back. Cassie Cage. I feel like Cassie will come back. And just because the Mortal Kombat games of as of recent have really been pushing the combat kids forward, MKX, we got the introdu introduction of Cassie and Jackie and Takeda and Kung Jin. MK11, we got more Cassie. So MK12, if they're not rebooting the universe which is the storyline they're going with then we're probably gonna get more cassie and cassie will be like the sonya of the next generation cetrianus amanis more like see you later alligator i don't think cetrianus coming back i'm gonna be straight up honest i don't think cetrianus coming back for the big reason of she she really didn't do anything in mk11 what she was like shinnok's sister i didn't really feel that that strength from cetrian she was just she was there and her gameplay i mean i guess she's cool she's like the avatar she has all the elements but cetrion i feel she could probably sit this one out maybe she's dlc but base roster i don't think she's coming back devora everyone's favorite bug Ooh. okay i think devora will return they've been pushing devora as one of the bigger threats in the mk universe as of late she killed scorpion She's, she's killed Melina. She's killed a lot of characters. And she's still alive in the MK11 story. So we need to have her back in the next game. So then someone can kill her, right? So that's why I think Devor is going to come back for that reason only. She needs to get killed. So we need her back. Aaron Black, one of my favorite characters. As much as I want to put Aaron Black as will return, I feel like he maybe, he maybe will come back. And Aaron Black is also another one of those characters where he kind of fits the, the jobber group where he just gets beat up. He's not a main character. He's not even like the main right hand man of the main characters. He's just there in the background. I want more Aaron Black. I would love to have him in the spotlight more, but uh, as of right now, maybe he'll come back. I put him there and not won't come back because he does have a pretty decent fan base and I'm part of that fan base. So I think Netherum knows, and he's just a really cool character. He's a cowboy ninja. Let's have him back. Frost. I think Frost was a uh, like kind of a one and done situation. We brought her back in MK11. She was really cool. It's like a cyber female Frost, but I don't think she will come back in the next one. I don't even remember what she did in the MK11 story. I don't remember. I'm just gonna say Frost won't come back. Garrus. Now Garrus was one of the cooler brand new characters to be added to MK11. He can, you know, freeze time. He was Thanos, but he did die or was infinitely drowning in, in the, the Red Sea, or whatever you wanna call that stage. This would be a good way to write him off and make him not come back in MK12. I can see out of all the brand new characters from MK11, he can be DLC. 
but I don't think he will be main roster. Put him won't come back. Ooh, that one. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that one. We'll, we'll just put that there for now and let that simmer and then we'll come back to it. Maybe. Jackie Briggs. I feel like Jackie will come back. If you have Cassie, you gotta have Jackie, right? You're gonna push all the combat kids and hopefully this next game we get Takeda and Kung Jin back. Jade. I feel like Jade won't come back because Jade's story in MK11 really wasn't much. So let's have her be on the sidelines in this one. We can bring back Melina and Katana for the main roster and Jade, maybe DLC. Jax. I'm gonna put Jax as maybe. And that's because in MK11, Jax, he was kind of at the end of his, uh, his road there. He was losing it a little bit. He was ready to retire. Obviously, he came back as evil for a little bit and then became good again. So I can see Jax officially retiring in, the, in this next game and then Jackie being the, the, the leader of the Briggs. So Jax, maybe. Johnny, come on. Obviously, Johnny won't be back. Of course, Johnny's going to be back. Are you kidding me? Come on. He's a fan favorite. He's one of the faces of Mortal Kombat. Johnny, 100% will be back in MK12. Come on. Cabalin. I can see Cabal maybe coming back. Because, again, he is one of those characters that you beat up in the story. Uh, he was in MK9. He skipped MKX. Was in MK11. So he could skip MK12 and possibly be DLC. I can see Cabal being DLC. Kano. Kano is kind of funny because Kano is one of the few characters that died twice in the mk11 story his past self and present self died this would be a a good time to have his character get written off of the main roster i could see kano being dlc for sure but this is again main roster characters only uh so i think kano won't be back in the main roster which is very controversial of me to put him there because Kano has been, you know, he's one of the original MK1 characters. But I don't know, man. Kano died twice. Not once, twice in MK11. So I'm going to say he won't be back. Katana, 100%. She'll be back. Self-explanatory. She, she's, she's Katana. Come on. Collector. Love this character. One of my favorite brand new characters. But i don't think he was popular enough and he really didn't do much in the story to warrant him coming back gonna have to put him won't be back sucks he was pretty sweet and he was one of my main characters nether realm make him dlc or something koto khan i think a lot of us kind of know where koto's gonna uh land right Ugh. unfortunately i don't think koto is gonna come back in mk12 i don't know if you guys have noticed but koto has been put into the jobber group so hard he was set up to be the next like shao khan when he first got revealed people were like oh my god he has the khan name shao khan is a beast Koto Khan, he has to be a beast. But I feel like every game he's been losing battles. He's been decapitated in the storyline. Like he just, there's this image, uh, a meme where someone made Koto in a wheelchair. And like, that's that's the fan base of Koto right now. The, the Koto fan base has been crippled because he keeps getting destroyed. I think Koto could have been one of the best, like brand new, head honchos for the good guys or bad guys but he's just been sidelined and, and beat up every single game so i think the nail in the coffin has been uh, in the aftermath doc where he just got his head cut off uh i think koto won't be back unfortunately for mortal kombat 12. Kronikan. yeah i don't think Kronikan's has come back she, she's a boss character i don't see her coming back i think her story was introduced uh and ended in mk11 so we're done with that. Kung Lao. I think Kung Lao will come back. Especially the tease at the end where uh, Liu Kang met up with the great Kung Lao. So uh, Kung Lao is sick. He needs to come back. Also, he's been in like every game so far. He's been in nine, um, like the recent games. MK9, he was in it. MKX, he was in it. MK11. So Kung Lao, he's a fan favorite. He's going to come back. Liu Kang, do we even have to take time on this one? He'll come back for sure. I feel like he is now going to be the head honcho. Uh, he's going to play the Liu Kang character and the Raiden, like the Elder God character at the same time. So he's going to come back and he's going to probably have a huge role in MK12. Night Wolf. I think Night Wolf will maybe possibly. I'm going to put Night Wolf as will return in MK12. I don't have a really good explanation on this one. 
I just feel like Nightwolf was pretty sweet in MK11 Aftermath DLC, so why not have Nightwolf come back in the main roster? Uh, he has shown up in like every Mortal Kombat game of recent in one way, shape, or form. He wasn't playable in MKX, but he did show up in story. So I think Nightwolf has a chance to come back. A higher chance than a lot of these characters. Noob Cybone. I'm just putting him there because I don't care for Noob and I don't, I don't mind if he sits this next game out. Okay, I know. I can hear some of you guys typing in the comments. Cage, that's not fair. You gotta give Noob his proper shot. All right. If I had to say, do I think Noob has a chance to come back? I say maybe. I think Noob has a, a, a possible chance of coming back in the main roster of MK12. Happy. Ray guy. Tricky one. Because at the end of MK11, Raiden lost his powers. He, he transferred it to Liu Kang. So Raiden is, is human now. If Netherrealm wanted to, they could give Raiden a break this next game and then have him come as DLC. With that being said though, I'm gonna say maybe return. I can see Raiden maybe returning. Ooh, didn't see that one coming, did you? Scorpion won't return in the next game because he got killed off, but I'm just kidding. Come on guys. <laughs> we're, we're gonna have Scorpion. Sure he died in MK11, but guess what? It's freaking Scorpion. Okay, there's a couple of things that we can almost guarantee. All right, the sun will rise, death, eventually, and we can guarantee Scorpion will be in every Mortal Kombat game. So Scorpion will be in Mortal Kombat 12. Shang Tsung. Oh, I really hope he returns. I think he's a maybe. I really want him to return, but I'm gonna put him for now, maybe. Shao Kahn. Do I think Shao Kahn will come back in Mortal Kombat 12 main roster? That's a tricky one as well because we don't know who the big threat is for MK12. I feel like wherever I put Shao Kahn, Shang Tsung will have to be with him. So if I put him will return, I think I gotta put Shang Tsung as will return as well. Seeing as Shao Kahn's a boss character, I'm gonna put him as won't be back. And then that just derailed what I just said about Shang Tsung being with Shao Kahn, but I think Shang Tsung um, has more of a chance of coming back than Shao Kahn. Scarlet. Scarlet, I think maybe will come back. They did push her character a lot more in MK11. So I could see her coming back. So maybe. Sonya Blade. This one is tough because they did kill off Sonya in MK11. They could write her character off that way and have her not come back. Unless, you know, at least the, the main roster, she won't come back. She could be DLC. Cause then the main story of MK12 could be Cassie taking up the mantle that Sonya left behind. Yeah, for now I'm gonna put Sonya as one return. That one, that one, oof. I don't know how some fans are gonna feel about, again, this is not to confirm characters that will be back or won't be back. I'm just, you know, speaking out loud and, and putting my thoughts on this table here. Um, so Sonya could return. I feel like if you were part of the original Mortal Kombat 1 roster, you should be uh, uh, grandfathered in every single Mortal Kombat game. You should just have a golden ticket to be in the game. But I know that's not the case, so that's why I put Sonya as won't return. Sub-Zero, easy, he will come back. Him and Scorpion, both will be in like every Mortal Kombat game. Sindel, I feel like Sindel has a, a possible chance of coming back. You know what? I think Sindel actually has a pretty solid chance of coming back. Yeah, I'm gonna put it as a will return. Fujinistics. I think Fujin has a great chance of coming back. He will take up the Raiden spot for MK12. Shiva. I think Shiva will return in main roster. I can see that. Rain. I think Mortal Kombat 12 will be the game that Rain will be a main roster character. He was DLC in MK9. He was only in the store of MKX. He was DLC in MK11. Rain will be main roster of MK12. Melina. Yes, she will return. That was all the characters for MK11. Let's break it down uh, really quick here. So for the characters I think will return, Cassie, Devora, Jackie, Johnny, Katana, Kung Lao, Liu Kang, Nightwolf, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Sindel, Fujin, Shiva, Rain, and Melina. The maybe will come back will be Baraka, Aaron Black, Jax, Cabal, Noob, Raiden, Shang Tsung, and Scarlet. And the won't be back, which I feel like has a pretty high chance of not coming back. Cetrion, Frost, Garrus, Jade, Kano, Collector, Kotokan, Kronika, Shao Kahn, Sonya, and I guess all the guest characters. So that is what I'm thinking for 
the roster that will be coming over to mk12 and the characters that won't be coming over to mk12 let me know down below three characters that you think will 100 not be back in the next mortal kombat game if you guys want me to do another video of me maybe guessing the roster of mk12 drop a huge thumbs up if this video gets let's let's say uh i'm gonna give you guys a challenge 2000 likes and i will try to predict the mortal kombat 12 roster all right but i hope you guys enjoyed the video like if you guys did subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new ring the bell icon so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video stay tuned because if any mortal kombat 12 news comes out mortal kombat movie news anything awesome i got you guys covered right here on the channel so don't miss out subscribe my name is on cage games and you just got cage into frame This is Immortal Kombat item. I've been waiting for this thing. And I'm here. So you guys are sad.